what's going on everybody and welcome to your 27th Google Chrome extension development tutorial and in this tutorial I'll be discussing a very special kind of API which Google Chrome provides you the developers and which is desktop capture API now using desktop capture API we can do stuff like capturing the screen of the user now most of you would already have seen many of these extensions on the Chrome web stores so why am I talking about this now basically I'll tell you one thing that I recently bought a Chromebook which was not a Chrome pixel but just a Chromebook which obviously comes with a Chrome OS now Chrome OS is kinda just made for you know just made for powerful web searchers and people who are just interested in just having a short break on websites and social networking sites and Chromebook just comes with a Chrome browser and you could actually add pretty much just the applications and extensions which are available on the web store and nothing else so Chromebook is not like you can install heavy softwares on it unless you obviously switch to developer mode and install a parallel running Linux operating system which I have already done but I was just telling you so now yeah so I was telling you that I recently bought a Chromebook and as I told you it only comes with a Chrome uh, Google Chrome browser and one problem I found on that is that I cannot record my video tutorials on Chromebook because either I have to do a screen share on my desktop itself or I need to somehow figure a camera a different type of camera which I could place at a certain distance from the screen to record but that all was very uncomfortable so I googled some screen recorders and as you can see my this account is synchronized with my Chromebook so I installed the screencastify recorder on my Chromebook and it automatically got installed on this computer as well so the problem was that this screencastify is a trial version as you can see you are using a screencastify light recording length is limited to 10 minutes which is very much restrictions on the youtubers who are kinda looking for doing more things but right now I'm not using this screencastify because I have a different software on my Windows PC so I was telling you guys is that this light version embeds the logo as well on the top of the recording and it's kinda restrictive so I had decided to create my own screen recorder extension for Google Chrome and hence I decided to teach you guys about this API as well so this API is pretty much straightforward and simple and is very convenient and easy to use so let's get started and I'll show you how to set up your manifest in this tutorial because I've already spent a lot of time while explaining what we'll be doing so this is my manifest from the previous extension we developed so I'll just remove which is not necessary or I guess we could just replace instead of removing so let's say the name of extension is my screen recorder which obviously would be the best screen recorder in the world and the description should be allows you to record your screen and um, that's pretty much it now browser action let's leave the browser action for now and the background page I guess we need some background scripts running so I guess I'll just go with scripts here and inside this I'll just say script.js but after jQuery.js okay so we have got our background scripts ready and version as well and in the permissions what we need is desktop capture so in the permissions section just type desktop capture obviously we would need storage and other permissions as well when we are processing the video or the screenshots but we'll add them later with our needs so that's pretty much it the basic of the manifest.js when you would require from this 
for this development of this extension and in the further tutorials I'll be showing you how to code such an extension and probably I would be completing my this extension as well within this tutorial series and would be launching it on the store for you guys to test it out so that's it for this tutorial and I'll see you then next time stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe